Okay, we're live, and I, I turned on the auto record function, so okay. we should have. And the capture anymore. card's not muted. The capture card is not muted. Okay. Like I don't think there should be audio at the moment, anyway. No, I think it's about to start. I have to tell the stupid download to stop trying to download, despite there not being internet. All right, yeah. So we're good. We got audio now. Let's just see if that cutscene looks any better. I'm pulling the thing back up now. Like, I let it re-optimize the settings, so what it should do is... It should... Like, the quality should be a little lower, but it shouldn't be choppy. Yeah. Make sure you set the language back. Uh, yeah, it was actually save. saved. It saved that setting for some reason. Cool. Listen to this... Fucking dude, say some shit again. Yeah, see, even this was freezing up on the first round. Yeah, but it was being choppy on my end, too. Well, yeah, the PlayStation does that, too, so. Is the heat on in the house? No. Do you wish it was? Uh, I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Yeah, I'm a little chilly, but I'll be fine. Nere, Shisodore, Legend. You host. Tijira Rue Mireluni Datoki Ire Rasur Maida B. Ora Kinado Gedi Renuse Truti Uk Garu Stora Orme. Bright as fuck. <laughs> yeah, this cutscene looks a lot better now. Like I can tell the quality's dropped a little bit, like it's it's a little fuzzy. Mm -hmm. But it's it's running smooth, so that's what I care more about. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, then we should be good. We're good. Ah, get me out the to Torda. Terrier, many more for a reason. I don't know, but just that specific line there sounds really funny to me. Yeah. Look at this giant fucking bug this dude has. Uh huh. He's like a gallon. Hunting monsters is thirsty work. They're just on a boat. <laughs> All right. Alex Shepard. <laughs> you know, like, I guess you have, like, a visual in mind for this character. Yeah. Oh, there are four pages. Fuck. Oh, face shapes? Yeah. Damn. I mean, I would prefer I just get to make it, but, you know. Tweak the cheekbones and shit? Mm -hmm. Can you not do that? I don't think so. We'd be here all fucking day. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> the little Jeremy Renner. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. 
fucking crying about his family and shit. What are we gonna have a game uh, where it opens a character creation menu and it's just Blender? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what Spore should have been. It almost was. Yeah, I guess so. Makes monster, not monster, but dragon's dogma menu noises. Let me pick. This is Capcom, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, that's why. Yeah. The palest I can possibly be. <laughs> the oldest. This is as old as you can get in Monster Hunter. Well, you die by monsters before then. Do the Monster Hunter games take place in the same universe? Uh, or is it kind of like Final Fantasy where they're all sort of like separate stories? I don't know. There's not really a I'll do this last big story so anyway, is there? I mean, there is a story, but it's one of those things where it's not usually very in-depth. It's very straightforward. Yeah. Like, the sudden bone protrusion on the fucking outer edges of the eyebrows is kind of alarming when you switch yeah, between them. like, these brows are very sculpted. I wish that was a, a hallmark of male beauty instead of the chiseled jaw. I wish it was the chiseled brow on a man with a big, thick, squared brow. <laughs> Neanderthal. No. Ice. <laughs> 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 oh, oh yeah. I got so many of these Clint Eastwood eyes. There we go. Out hunting monsters, staring directly into the goddamn sun. None of these eyes really speak to me. <laughs> give him some of those squinty motherfuckers. Like, is there a way to give him extremely dark, I haven't slept in eight years eyes? I just love how some are like anime. <laughs> like they have that very visible uh change between yeah, like yeah. this is semi-realistic and this is full-blown anime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can make them wider. <laughs> You can do uh, heterochromia. Oh, you can, can't you? Make David Bowie. I really can't tell that this is getting any higher or lower, can you? Uh, very vaguely, but not so much, no. Oh, we can give them big, long, full eyelashes. Oh, yes, luscious lashes.
Alright, nose time. <laughs> Like Zorin Blitz. <laughs> That's a reference everybody will get. We have 11 subscribers on YouTube now. Oh, damn. It's been 17 on Twitch. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is this one just open mouth? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't like the hut monsters. <laughs> Again, they've sort of forced you to stay with an acceptable human. Yeah, you can't really fuck him up too bad. Which I kind of like in, um, character creators. Uh-huh. Because otherwise I feel like you just get, like, either the same face or a really fucked up face. I never have looked at the beard selection in this game. Yeah, I feel like you made a character, but then you never played. Yeah, it wasn't really my cup of tea. I got real into it, though. It's so shaggy. Yeah. I love it. It looks like shit. <laughs> what I want is character creation where you can draw in your beard and hair. So they basically got it mapped. Like, you know, this is where your hairline starts. And you take a cursor that you control and you drag it across the head where you want hair or across the yeah. the upper lip and chin where you want beard. And it just sort of paints it in. Yeah. <laughs> like a fucking neck beard. Okay, do we have severe under eye shadowing I can add? We've got this, whatever the fuck you would use this for. If I do this and make it completely fucking black. Oh. He's a fucking star. Look at him. I mean, that's a cool look. Oh, you can turn the glossiness down. That's what I want. I want it to be very matte. <laughs> you yeah. can make it metallic. I... Man, you might have to turn the gloss up to really... Maybe. It's making it darker? Yeah, but I feel like without the gloss, it's... Not gonna show up. Oh my god, I keep yawning. <laughs> it looks like those fucking weepy-eyed cats. Yeah. That's not what that means. 
What? That's position. That's not size. So does size change position? Do it again. Like, this is it by default, right? And this is size. The top one that I'm not on is position. But if I adjust the narrow and wide setting on this, it moves across the face. That's not size, that's position. Yeah. But when I adjust the height, it does adjust it. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. That's not right. See? Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, I guess that's fair. <laughs> like if you if you move it down and make it smaller, can't you do the like sort of the under eye bags you were trying to do? I guess. It's... But I kind of don't mind it just being full on eyeshadow. I mean, yeah, that's cool too. Like I actually think I do like that better. I just, you know, want you to live your dream here. No, fuck! Oh god, it changed everything, didn't it? <laughs> Did it? Yeah. No, why is it so much bright? Because the saturation did get changed. If I make it more saturated, no. I think I am going to bump the metallic up a little bit, because it makes it a darker... Yeah, black. yeah. <laughs> Makeup 2. Who do I want to give them cool scars? The answer is almost always yes. Right. But I could give them this. <laughs> Let's throw some hair on it first, actually. This hair is bad. Yeah. And I, it also needs to be black. Like, I have a lot of trouble making characters if I don't make them bald and then put the hair on. Yeah. Well, there's a good one right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Pompadour, though. There's nothing greasy enough. That first one was semi-greasy. Yeah, I guess This so. is sort of greasy. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Oh, Luscious, beautiful. Beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> go to that bottom one. What, what's going on here? That's actually kind of cool. It looked kind of goofy in the thumbnail but it's pretty nice. Pigtails? Is that what that one above that one is? Hell yeah. I feel like once you get in game you can change it because I had... Like are there more? Yeah because I feel like I started Don't with... Don't the palicos cut your hair? Maybe. Like I started with this one when I played my first time through but then I got in and like you have uh, a trainer or somebody a captain mm -hmm. maybe and you can get his hairstyle once you start in game, but it wouldn't suit this character. Like, Are the hairstyles just... not gender locked? Um, I don't think they are. Facial hair is the. I can't remember. I almost want to say it's not. Oh, cool. Because I feel like I was fucking with it on my first character who was female. Nice. This is pretty greasy. Yeah, I, I'm liking this character. Oh. Pirate of the Caribbean, motherfucker. <laughs> Can I just make Jack Rackham from Black Sails? No, you can't get facial hair that's that bad. I'm gonna stick with the stubble. Okay, but let's see about... Little smoochable lips. Thank you. 
Do I like that one or do I like the full lip coverage? What now? Like there's this one where it leaves a little bit, yeah. and then there's the one that follows the contours of the lips a little more. Show me the one that's full like that. Oh, it kept my settings. So there's full, and then there's less full. I like the full one more. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what did she- oh, do it again? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Ah! Oh, those teeth ain't real. No. There's something very simish about these facial expressions. Oh, yeah. So these are like facial packs, I guess? He's chewing. <laughs> yeah, he's eating. Also chewing, but more rudely. Don't pick this one. <laughs> I like that one. Really? Yeah. It's like just a little dramatic. Oh, we picked the underwear. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't have any feelings about... That's not true. I like this exposed chest look. Too bad you can't add body hair. Oh yeah, video games need more body hair sliders. For sure. Alright. <laughs> wow, he, he, here he is in the starting gear. Do we still like him? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going to a rave. I love him. No. <laughs> no, definitely he needs a voice that sounds like he's pr bending over in front of somebody pretending he doesn't want to get fucked in the ass. So whichever voice. Oh my. <laughs> there are four pages of voices there, shit. <laughs> I kind of like number seven. You also can't adjust their body type. Yeah. I, like, really, I don't know why you need these many, because I can't tell the difference in most of them. Yeah, like, they're they're all pretty samey. Oh, shit. Th there is no voice. Chain mail. That's a really cool 
Not yeah, the it. costumes in this game are absolutely fucking phenomenal. Oh, we can view them in different lights. Oh, too. there we go. <laughs> now he's really looking good. <laughs> when you can see the least of him. <laughs> oh man, he looks goth as shit. Um, maybe we'll go and change the nose. Because I had no strong feelings about the nose, but now he's more complete. Although I do love the slim little nose. Yeah, it's nice. Do you like these upturned ones, though? They're giving it a much more androgynous vibe. Yeah, I like that, too. I think I'm gonna stick to that one. Hell yeah. Is there anything I didn't... I think that's everything. I just have to name them. And I think you actually get in-game before you pick your weapon. Yeah. I'm just gonna name him Roadkill so I don't have to think of another name. Yeah, I mean, that's probably best. Here you go. Oh, do you make the Palico right off the bat? Yeah. Okay. Your buddy. <laughs> oh, let's see. There are some fun little almost devil horn like ears. Yeah. Which I think I gave to my original one in my first playthrough. I wish you could make a sphinx cat with like no fur. <laughs> yeah, a totally nude cat. Got the fur texture. <laughs> And yeah, like, you can choose a color with the scale instead of one of the palettes if you want. Yeah, I think I just wanted black, though. pattern at the bottom if you do want a solid black cat. Yeah, let's do solid black. Like, you can up the saturation on that if you wanted it to be, like, very bright. Yeah, let's edit that real quick. Back, let's go here. Yeah. Okay. Shit. 
Yeah, the menu takes a little getting used to because you have to confirm everything rather than uh, backing out yeah, to the. Keep fucking it up. I think it's still the same. The yeah, slightly I, I green. Think it's, I think it's good. Jump back in here and do nothing. I don't really guess that's going to change Man, anything. it looks like the beans on the bottom of his feet are, like, separate from his feet. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> weird. I know, like, yeah. it just gives the cat a weird, blurry outline when you make the fur longer. Yeah, so we're just gonna get from that. Hey, Amanda, how are you? You got Scottish fold ears. Ooh, what are you baking, Amanda? I just want these normal cat ears. Okay, you make whatever you want. Oh yeah, there's the little fucked up tail. I like the little fucking somebody stepped on it tail. Yeah, I kind of like that one a lot too. This is a rat, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Amanda is making a cake where you put cinnamon rolls, whipped cream cheese, frosting, blueberry pie filling, lemon box <laughs> And cake. everything cake. Holy shit, I got fucking lost trying to read all that. So it's cake with cinnamon rolls, whipped cream cheese frosting, blueberry pie filling, lemon box cake mix, and butter. So, <laughs> so, okay, where where do the what what's the what goes in first? So the cinnamon rolls go in first, and then the lemon cake, like, bakes up around them? What color should his outfit be? I really can't decide. I don't care. I mean, do whatever the hell you want, man. Make yourself idyllically in cat form. I mean, we can delay the gameplay as long as you want, because I'm not good at Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Triangle is preview. Uh.
So what did you name it? Roadkill? Roadkill, if you just want to name it Eidolon. Yeah. Alright. Here we are. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm coming back to the cake now. Okay, so where does the blueberry pie filling go? I'm assuming the cream cheese frosting goes on top. Hey, betters. Oh, there I am. Garuhi <laughs> la, all three. Lara. Memory thirty new cra. Ru, Ruti Memra Kadam Rock. Rafati Rock. Let on Kikra. Gardo. Sodre Mar. Mem Kajin to Ashi. Let on us. Amanda sent us a video of the recipe. <laughs> She's tired of explaining it to me. <laughs> Where's my phone? I don't fucking know, man. I don't know either. Here We're behind a wall of electronics and cords. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> Any? Osushi, you to me, Danako. Narizami, eh? The last week to Jiram. Oh my god, that cake looks fucking delicious. It's like, it's almost like a pie. I forgot what this fucking thing's called. Those are boats. Shut up. Cause like, the thing in this game is everything is a dragon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, time to remember how to play Monster Hunter, because I don't. You just fucking hunt the monsters, bro. Hey, push, move faster, goddamn. Push the monster button. Hey, Amanda, this is our first time using the capture card with the PlayStation 4. Um, does everything look and sound okay? Like, is the video choppy at all? Okay. Please stop looking at boat. There. Cool. Our TV died. <laughs> so we're uh we're streaming like with the uh, everything hooked up to computer monitors. Or like the TV didn't die, but like the LEDs are fucked up in the in the in the backlight. So you can't see the picture. Like it works, but there's no picture right now. Which apparently is a fixable thing, but I'm not sure that I can fix it, but I'm gonna try. This is fucking perilous. Yeah. The camera angle is really fucking me up. <laughs> 
don't game and then get old, you get motion sickness. <laughs> yeah. Pterodactyls. Oh, fuck. Pterodactyls. <laughs> Yes, I see you. This thing's got this weird beard almost. <laughs> Who your character? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we please get through this so we can get to the main town so I can see the huntsman? Do you remember the huntsman? He's just this dude in a big suit of armor with like this giant katana. I yeah, think. yeah, I remember him. He's got like Aaron from Final Fantasy X vibes. Are you gonna give me a weapon? Wait, can I go back there? Is there shit to be grabbed? No, there's nothing here. Like, I for real don't think I've played this game since the year it came out. Yeah, it's been a while. Because, like, I played it for a long time, and then I couldn't beat one of the final bosses, and I just sort of gave up. Yeah. Like, before Iceborne even came out. You've had some pretty decent screaming matches with this game. <laughs> but you got fucking angry at it a few times. Yeah, some of the monsters are very frustrating to fight. Like, one here, which I'm not gonna fight anytime soon. The big T-Rex looking motherfucker. Yeah. Like, it just sucks to fight. I'm not good at it. Like, I'll probably fight a Jagras here, which is like, easy starter dude. Yeah. Oh, I'll be right back. You okay? Yeah, I just gotta use the bathroom. And I'm gonna turn the heat on because my feet are freezing off. Okay. Okay, yeah. 
think you auto climb. You don't jump that. Have this dodge roll. Pick anything up yet? Yes. Oh, isn't there a thing of honey over here? Oski, can you see? Okay, I'm back. What are we fighting? Little bitty lizards. Little bitty lizards? I mean, they're big, but they're little compared to, uh... Other monsters. Yeah. And I don't think I can even fight them yet. Like, you ha it's showing you the hide mechanic. Uh, which I... I wish they would just give me a fucking weapon. These lizards are stupid as hell. They watched us run into these fucking leaves. Excuse <laughs> me. Please, let me through. This one. I, I hate fighting any sources. Like they breathe fire. <laughs> We got separated. <laughs> what? Like, I think they show back up when you get into town. This dude, by the way, the field team leader. I had- you get his haircut 
when you make when yeah. you do your shit in town. I think so I remember I, that. Like my first character ended up with his haircut because I think it's cool. <laughs> Just gonna eat some pudding? Yes. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted anything. You want some? No, I don't want any. I'm just eating pudding on stream. It's delicious. <laughs> Dairy free. ハクトミアダモレ。ハシファファレリトアステラ。レリトアステラ。シソドレオジガハイ。ミエラタ。ザ・セムラ。おお。エラ。レディラ。キノリダン。エセムラ。ラグニテラ、キモラ、ニムエモラ。イーグ。ファストクーテ、スファルナ。ニュイキ、ホラス。おお、スリュートレ。ね。ラ
really obvious. Since your ass want to act tour guide. <laughs> Oh, wait, we are going to see the Meowster Chef, though. Yep. Amanda, I hope you're paying attention. Oh, are these the little More cat thoughts. shoves? Yes. With their big cat oh. oven. I thought it would show us yeah. more of the cats, Laga, actually, Laga. but... Laga. I feel like I should have changed, or should have been able to change his whisker colors. But maybe not. I don't, I don't know. think so. They look weird. There he is. Right there in yeah. the back. Yeah. So, like, okay, what's the story in this game? Because, like, you guys are after these giant migrating dragons. Yeah, and, like, this is a new landmass, I think, is okay. the story in this. Like, Asteria is the first, not the first, but one of the first settlements on this new continent, I assume. Okay. I don't know that they ever refer to it specifically as this or that, as far as, you know, landmass terms. Yeah. Because, like, this dude, as we were walking up the stairs, this field team leader said, you know, I've never been to the old world. I was born here because his grandfather was the leader of the first fleet to come over here and, you know, hunt in this area, and we're the fifth fleet. Right, right, right. So, like, we were... <sighs> following that dragon that we... Like, that thing we were on that was all lava was a dragon. Right. So, like, so well, like I think we were following it, and it emerged from the sea and disrupted our, you know... Are you hunting them for sport or for resources? I think everything. Like, everybody's clothes is made out of it. It's what you eat. Like, you just use these monsters for everything, I think, in this okay. world. Like, the weapons, the armor, the food. So I would assume structures, unless it's wood or yeah, stone, are yeah. also made from materials like that. <laughs> Yeah, Magdaros, that's the thing that we were just on. Because, yeah, that's story is these elder dragons are all migrating to this landmass right. for some reason. Why can't you be one of these guys? The cats? Or... Is that a cat? That dude, yeah, that's... No, th not that dude, that dude with the weird ears. Yeah, I don't know, there are these sm tiny elf people, but you can't, like, you are only human. Yeah. You don't get any sort of choice there. Well, I guess he's a normal sized elf dude. That's the smithy, by the way. Yeah, yeah.
Can you get the insect glaive right off the bat? Yeah, I think you just get a first choice of any of them. Is there's like the training area that you can go to, and it lets you test out all the weapons and stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that for a few minutes to figure out how to do it again, because like <sighs> it's weird. <laughs> Alpha Kideki, Rube Hai. Scarab. What you start with for this, I suppose. Is there anything else I can change right now? Oh, here's the uh, thing I was telling you about. The uh... well, you can't really see it, so whatever. The bagpipe. Yeah, the horn, the hunting horn. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, we were talking about that when we were watching Benny play that new Monster Hunter, right? Yeah, which I still need to download and try out. Oh my god, look how big this boy is! Oh. Friend! <laughs> you hate it, don't you? What? <laughs> the bug. No, I don't hate it. It's just definitely not the weapon like I would want to play with, but you liked it a lot. So, like, you get different versions of the glaive, so the glaive looks different, and the bug is a different bug that yeah. has different properties, right? Mm hmm But, like, the bug gives you buffs. You use the bug to bestow buffs. Like, just automatically, it won't do anything, but, like, you use the bug to bite specific parts of enemies, and depending on the parts you bite, it will give you buffs. Like, it gets imbued with a certain element or something Yeah, because, like, like, the way I remember it is if you hit the tail of an enemy, it gives you a little bit of health. So, like, you just get a little, yeah. little bit of health. But you usually try to hit the head, the body, and the legs. And you'll get a red, an orange, and a white buff. And one is attack, one is defense, and I guess the other is stamina, but I can't remember for yeah. sure. But, like, I remember that's important but like you can also like because you choose different insects they have different properties like you can get poison ones or healing ones or stunning ones and there may be a few others but i can't remember them because i feel like i always stuck with poison yeah yours always did poison damage. but like you can make little clouds and it'll stay there, but then when you hit the cloud, it disperses the effect. Okay. So, like, if you're hunting with a party, you can make healing clouds, and if people need a little boost to healing, it's not a lot. They hit that cloud, and it gives them yeah, a little yeah. health boost. And, like, if you hit a poison cloud, you'll, you know, poison an enemy, mm -hmm. and if you, you know, so on and so forth. That's how I remember it working, anyways. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the training area and see if I remember how to use this fucking weapon. Because, like, the glaive itself, I know, is a very mobile weapon. Like, oh, yeah, like, you, you're airborne a lot. Because, yeah. like, you can vault yourself into the air, and then if you land attacks on the enemy, you can stay in the air, you know, up to a certain point. So, Oruiku. So let me... Okay, yeah, harvest extract. So there's... one thing. Okay, so it's two different buttons to send out an in the insect and a different one to call it back. 
Oh, and you also have to sharpen shit in this game. Fuck, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Because then you can do this. This is the thing I was talking about with the... the cloud. like a little bit of a bonus. Mm -hmm. How do I... Okay, yeah. R2 and X. That's to vault. And then... Okay. See, and like, because I hit that barrel, it boosted me back up into the air. Right. See, so like if you keep hitting something, it'll keep you in the air. Yeah. So like you just have to, because I don't think there's a lock. Yeah, there is a lock on. Okay. Combos are something that I have to get used to because I, I always want to mash things really fast, mm -hmm. and it looks like it's a little more like you have to pay attention to when an animation is ending. Yeah, like I'm definitely not good at that kind of shit. Okay, you have two opportunity, like, two buttons to stay in the air if you don't hit an enemy. Because, like, you can vault, and then you can hit X, and then you can also hit O. And, like, you'll stay in the air when you do that, but after that, you lose momentum until you hit an enemy. I, it's a good thing I remember. Or I told it's just like a combo that. chain kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Someone needs to make a game that's sort of a combination of Monster Hunter and Tony Hawk Pro Skater. So, like, you're skateboarding around fighting giant monsters. Okay. Doesn't that sound rad? It, it certainly sounds like something. Like, you could be, like, skating, like, skateboarding around a city and, like, fighting kaiju and stuff. Mm hmm. God, somebody get some development studio on the horn. That's a fucking triple-A idea right there. Okay, and also, the other thing I need to do as soon as I have the means is to make uh, tranquilizers and shock traps. Because, like, I think you technically get better rewards for capturing enemies. Yeah. Okay, I, I remember well enough to fight a Jagras right now, at least. Oh, Amanda's back with her cake. Did you taste the cake yet? Let me change my appearance yet. You do that here, then you do that here. Yes, change boots. I just want to see if there's anything other than that hair. Because, like, you can't change everything. Amanda has not tasted the cake yet. She had to get coffee. Also, that hair isn't here, so I may have to re download it. Weird. 
the one guy's here? Yeah. Do you not have to, like, do something to unlock it? No, I think it was just a free download. Oh, okay. But, I don't know. I may be wrong. Here's where I exit, actually. I didn't change anything. Alright. Enough delay. Rush. Well, I would assume with that many ingredients, it would have to be pretty good. I'd be pretty disappointed if you put all that shit in it and it tasted bad. Wait, did you look at the video? No, I'm playing the video, video game. So you, well... <laughs> Here, look at the video real quick, so you can understand the configuration of this cake. Cinnamon rolls, cream cheese, blueberries... Cake mix, but it's dry, and then butter, so it creates like that that dump cake crust. That looks so fucking good. Mm -hmm. Hey, where were you just at? What was that room called? The training room. Training room. Okay. I want I want to go look up the uh, um the song that's playing in there. Oh, it's really good. I'm gonna go post that in the dungeon synth group. GST, Kudashi less. Jimmy is two. What I tell you? Jimmy is two. What the fuck are you saying to me right now, my man? See? Zero. Oh, you have a mission for me? Oh, I forgot about this. This place just sells weapons and armor, so you can go ahead and buy it. I remember when I stopped playing before the Iceborne update, you had to, uh... Or you didn't have to, but what people sort of agreed the best glaive was was made with Diablo's horns and Diablo's horns are a very rare drop. Yeah, I think I kinda remember you trying to Like trying they to also get those. suck to fight I hate fighting Diablos. <laughs> <laughs> they're scary. Like there's some monsters in this game that are just so fucking aggressive. See? Oh I can't find the I can't find that song. Oh, it's Meowskiller Chef, my bad. Can I get any food?
Okay, I found the name of the song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> そう、ベラディスラ、ララに。食うだけ。北欧へ。選んで、レジモーテマーハ。ひな、ひらはストライ。ふざてら、メラシ。できる。ああ。あだ。I also remember that there are guns in this. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you could use guns. I need to play this again and just try some different weapons, because I could probably get into it, especially if I was streaming it or something. Mm -hmm. Rock. Oh, right. Fuck, where'd it go? Oh, I need this herb. Baby. Every game. You gotta collect that herb. No. It's a problem. I think I just killed that thing. Your bug? No, uh -oh. this guy here. I was trying to capture uh, it. I'm but... sorry. Uh. Mm. Ah, okay, you gotta aim and then... You remember the Wigglers? The Wigglers? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, um... They like pop up out of the ground and wiggle around. They'll have those little eel guys that do that at the bottom of the ocean. Mm hmm. Oh, that wasn't. I got it. Okay. I'm going to keep it on whetstone because that's probably what we're going to need. <laughs> oh, but there are birds over here, actually. ハハミア、ナデランガ、イガニポチュ。アポガアメニュスハ、スポジェル。シスタ、トゥトゥルトスタ。ナトオ、ヒルナ。ノー、ファック、アワズンクロスナフ。ディフェンスバージョンオブ
What does your cat have? A shovel. Oh, okay. Like that's the starter. Can I do that in the field? What are you doing? You can, like, mix, like, you can craft yeah, items. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, there's a lot of collecting and crafting in this game, Oh, right? yeah, there's a ton of shit in this game. That's another reason I need to try to get back into it and actually learn to play it this time. Ragari Tari Aseyu. Demari Shibara. Yeah, like for fighting tiny enemies like this, it's really not very helpful. <laughs> It's not very useful. The, you know, the aerial aspect of it. Oh, at least. yeah, yeah. Geography. Oh. Totur. Nerumuma. Rameso Kid. I feel like, in general, it's very cumbersome to fight them. To fight small enemies with this. Right. Some of the weapons have transformative properties. Yeah, there's right? the switch axe. I don't know if all of the if there are more than just the switch axe, but the switch axe is definitely one. But the glaive doesn't. No. I feel like several of the other weapons do that though. I feel like the glaive doesn't because it already has the bug aspect. Maybe, yeah. I, I'm just not like I said, this is the first one I ever played, so I certainly don't know. Right, right. Because, like, I feel like the Switch Axe may have three things it switches into. Oh, really? Because I feel like maybe it has Shield, Sword, and Axe mode. Okay. So maybe it's just that there's so much in that one that we think it's a... Uh... That could be the case, yeah. And I'm probably also thinking of Bloodborne weapons, actually. Oh, yeah, they do that, definitely. Yeah, like, every weapon in Bloodborne does that. Which is another game I need to try again. <laughs> Like, there's something about the combat in this game that I always found kind of clunky. It, it feels a little slow to me, too. Because, like, and I don't think that's the fault of the game. I think it's, like, my brain is wanting it to be more like a hack-and-slash game. Yeah. Where you're just, like... Hammering on it. Yeah, hammering on <laughs> it. Cutting through hordes of enemies, you know? Yeah. But it's not like that. It's more like a fighting game where you're looking for, like, combo cues and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like if I could just, like, sort of get with the program on that, I would probably enjoy the game pretty good. I also wish it was more open world. I mean, I don't... I feel like it. it is... But, like, you can't, like, go from area to area. You have to, like, go out on missions to particular areas, right? No, you can do whole things in... Like, you can take missions to go hunt enemies, or you can just take a mission to explore. But you can't... 
What I'm saying is, like, you choose the area you go to, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a way to go from one area to the yeah. other, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Which is, like, a nitpicky thing. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, we still have those cookies. I just thought about those cookies. Uh, whenever you want me to bake them, I will. Oh, I guess I'm leaving. Oh, look, there's a picture for you. I forgot it takes these pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh no, we still can't connect to the PlayStation Network. Oh shit. God, I want to get to the Rotten Vale. I love the Rotten Vale so much. Yeah, that's like your shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many areas does Iceborne add, do you know? I don't know. Like, I, for real, like I said, I... I'm gonna look it up. ...fell out of playing it before Iceborne came out, so I never really looked up much info about it. Hmm. But I, I really want to get to the Run Veil because you can get that Gyros armor, which is just goth. It's just like solid black leather. Hell yeah. And like, uh, quilted armor, sort of padded armor, sort of look. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, look, he's got this big katana. His huge katana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, do I have to use the item box in my room to craft? So if I need to craft, or if I can craft, I would like to. Refamiliarize myself with the components required. I feel like I also got to where I used a buff every time I played. I need Trink Bomb first. Trink Bomb is Sleep Herb and Parish Room, so I'm probably not going to have any of that for a while. Shock Trap is Trap Tool and Thunderbug, which I think it just gives you trap tools at some point when it starts teaching you about shit. Oh yeah, you have pets. You catch those pets and you can just put them in your room. So I have a bird now. Look at this giant pet bird. Camera, please let me look. It's got such a tiny little beak for such a huge fucking bird.
Because that's like the way the Wiggler works, for instance, is like you, you catch these Yeah, because like yeah. once you upgrade, because you upgrade your room, once you get to the biggest room, you have like pots and there's certain monsters, or certain of these little guys that you can place... It's like you have like an aquarium by the time you get to the biggest room. I'm pitching skateboard kaiju fighter to Kelsey right now <laughs> in our in our group chat. Okay, so you can upgrade some shit, but do I really want to? Oh yeah, because it's this. So, I may not bother with this right now, depending on how soon I can build. Manage Kinsex. Because I have two, technically. Because they also have different attack, attack types, like their Sever and Blunt. As well as the Dust effect. What? Nothing. What did you say? I was talking about how the Kinsex... Because, like, when you you upgrade other weapons, you're upgrading the weapon, but with Insect Glaive, you upgrade the Glaive and the Insect. Okay. So, like, right now I technically have two Insects, or Kinsex. So what is... The, the one you have does what? It's the Cauldron, and it does Sever Attack Type and Poison Dust Effect. I okay. would assume that means it's more, you know cutting. Yeah. And the other one is labeled blunt, which, yeah. you know, is obvious. That's the term used in most RPGs. And it does healing dust effect. See, I can make some different stuff for this guy. Oh, I forgot they get little outfits. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know that there's anything I want to do here right this second. So where's the handler? Is she up here or down here? Or... Here's somebody who wants to talk to me. Oh.
Dude. Lenas suit. Lemegra. some shit from this dude. What is he like the quartermaster? I guess it's provisions. Provisions, okay. Yeah. Oh, and there's a research thing up here. Oh, this stack of fucking books this dude lives on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at his toes. Ooh, yeah. Weird look, feet. Look at his toes. Dang. Anginath. That's what it's called, not Angosaurus. This guy, like, the research levels go up when you bring them back alive. Is that the way uh, it works? I, that They're... probably factors into it some, but it's also... Um... investigating those marks in the world. Like, you find footprints, you find shit where they took a shit. Yeah, You find yeah. skid marks, you find, like, saliva on trees. Okay. Like, it's all that stuff as well. Forgot Mostly every that. monster has those really nice uh, illustrations. Oh, yeah, those... like, icons or whatever. Yeah, like, iconography. Symbiology. There's somebody else over here. Damn! Is that up here? Yeah, it's looking clearer. So... The Meowskiller Chef. Uh -huh. So... Oh my god, it's freezing in here. Did you turn the heat on? Yes, but I'm still cold. I think that's all the things... Alright, so... Fuck you. Ah! See? She have like a whole roast duck behind her? She's got a whole roast something.
I love the idea of eating this much fucking food and then going out to fight. Like, like I would fall asleep instantly. Like, all you eat in this game is pure fucking protein. Like, there you can order a veggie plate, but there's still, like, fish on it. It's just nothing but fucking protein, dude. I mean, you need it. <laughs> true. Well, that's not true, technically. I think you need fat if you're going to burn a lot of energy. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't know a damn thing about eating healthy, though. Nope. <laughs> I just eat whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want. Oh, fuck, there's a time limit. I forget about that. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I understand. I guess. <laughs> So we're fighting these triceratops. They're not triceratops. The Kestodons? Yeah, like what they ram you and shit. Yeah, like I remember fighting these uh, guys when I tried to play. I forget what those dinosaurs are called. Because it's what Rampardos from Pokemon is based on. Bemi. wasn't even close to me. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Huh? Amanda said that you're not supposed to eat a big fatty meal before you take Viagra. Oh, okay, well, it, keep that in mind. It won't work as well, which I guess, you know, she knows from work. Yeah, that's what she'd like for us to believe. <laughs> no, move, move! And you can walk on. Yeah. Oh, there's more. So, walk me, Benny. Kestel on new mode to Ruaku. You did to Mutei. Do to Ra Toda. And like you can hit these plants and they'll heal you. There's just fun environmental stuff in this without it being overwhelming. Let me get down in this fucking water. We're running over here. There were still a few back over there. Bemi.
Damn it. Get back here. Oh, you need to move, buddy. Oh, fuck. My stamina. <laughs> please move. Please move. This shit is also dull. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> Please move. Okay, sure. So, what does your palico do? They can heal you. Like, can you train them to do different things, or...? Um, yeah, I think you can teach them to prioritize certain, you know, supportive functions. Do they attack as well? Yeah, they do some damage. It's not a ton, obviously. Oh, God. Damn it. my weapon away by accident. Okay, so you're the last one left. Okay, that was bullshit. It got <laughs> stuck on that rock and then it clipped through the rock and knocked me down. Kestodon Hashirashi. No. Actually, I need That do do? No, that's just rocks. Uh oh. Is that do do? No, this is bones. No! More. Is that do do? Yes. Cursed mm -hmm. on you. Me. Soft lore for you. Nere, they got you a stella. Dosia Grasso, Poso, Bevitina, Telefonera, 
ドスジャグラスゼイガレークリーフラーキトゥメクミキナメニミミホゲレシュラクナハオムトウィクエマニハモアツシトソイダミメデシュシマッシュルーズガスメキメキウォーグラブユーシピックアップンイッグラブズンデギブユーバーネスズ Flame nut. So, Ikume Kemori, Ehida dos Jagras, Yurusu. Who the hell are you, dude? I love your downhill running animation. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like a lot of the animation in this is sort of endearingly goofy. Yeah, yeah. Zanella Tudor, Dotur Alu Laru. Bonuses. All right. Well, I guess we're not getting that other one. Jaguars is a little too low to the ground. Okay, I understand. Let me examine this bone pile, please.
Go ahead and sharpen this. Oh, our buddy from uh, Dragon's Dogma is in chat. Oh, cool. Are they also an absolute fucking master at this game? <laughs> they said, hell yeah, Glaive. I love... It's free bug! <laughs> like, I, I had... I'm pretty sure on my first file I had a moth. Like, was the, the bug that I had. Because, like, I, it's a scarab now or something, and it, there's a lot of beetles, but I'm pretty sure it was a big fuzzy moth. Yeah, you I, had a moth. I, I can't you, remember what it was called. I remember you trying to get that for a long time. They said, yes, sort of, they are a master. <laughs> I fully trust that that's Oh, true. no, I do not doubt it at all. So once again, they get to watch me be not particularly great <laughs> at a game they love. <laughs> I'm certainly not very good at Monster Hunter. I don't think I'm comically bad, but... Oh, this was their first uh, Monster Hunter game as well. Oh, cool! Yeah, we've never played one before this either. Like, I think I played one briefly Yeah, on... you played one for, like, PSP or some shit. Yeah, like, I had one for PSP years and years and years ago that I played a little bit of, but... This is, like, the, the first one that either of us actually got into, I think. They said nonsense, you are a good player. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be self-deprecating, I just understand that there's more to a lot of these games that I just don't bother with. It's like, oh, I love these games, but not that much. <laughs> yeah, like, that's my problem with... with that, was, that was my problem getting into this game, is, like, I never could understand some of the, the combo mechanics and stuff. Like, I was really bad at that. But I, I should probably take a crack at it again. Because, like, for one thing, I'm a very cautious player. Yeah, you are. So, like, I would use the daggers, but, like, you have to be right in the fucking monster's faces constantly to use those. So yeah. I really like the space the glaive gives you. The glaive is really cool, like, I... I know, I really love this pole vaulting shit. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Like, it, it gives you that ability to, like, stay mobile, stay in the air. But again, it's probably not the weapon I would choose if I was playing. Like, I feel like I would be more comfortable with... Like a more standard bladed weapon, like a sword, or maybe yeah. a, like a... There's also the gun lance in this, which I forgot about. Yeah. Which I don't even know that I've watched anyone use, so I don't particularly know how it works. Isn't there a hammer weapon? Yeah. I kind of would like to try that at some point, I think. Please, hit this cloud. My bug is just over here wailing on this dude. Because he ran away again like they always do. That's a really cool part of this game is like the... Chasing? Yeah, like the chasing that you do throughout the levels. Like it keeps a really good uh, tension. What to... the fuck was that? I threw something across oh. the room. No, 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 come back, come back. 
Yeah, they, so they didn't know anything about the weapons, but they picked the glaive because the flipping around was pretty funny. Uh-huh. Uh, and also that it seems like the glaive is frowned upon by old school fans of Oh, Monster well, Hunter. good, then I doubly love it. It's just, it had insect in the name, so I was really interested in seeing yeah. the insect aspect, but, like, yeah, I had to look up videos, because there's... Yeah. Oh, uh, there's some dude whose videos I watched a ton of. It's something cowboy. I can't remember his name. So, like, I had to watch videos to understand how to actually use it. Yeah. Like, I didn't know anything about this extract shit until I watched a video. I can definitely understand, like, old school monster. Are you running again already, dude? Not liking this weapon, because it's, it's just so atypical. But that's what makes it really interesting. Like, it's such a cool weapon. Oh, I forgot about the sliding attacks in this game. What do you mean? Like, if you're running downhill like this, you get the momentum, oh. and you get a little bit of a boost to your attack. That's really cool. Man, are, you're making me really want to play this now. Well, you should. It's fun. Yeah, I probably will. I'll chase him in just a minute if he drops some shit, I think. Oh no, this is a little frog man. I want this little frog man. Snatch him up. Oh, missed him. Oh, missed him. Got him. <laughs> Because, like, you can hit pouch. those dudes, and it'll make... Like, that's a paratoad, so it'll, like, make a little paralyzing cloud. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I gotta catch up with this fucking thing. It'll start sleeping and regaining health. Angry. Stop that. Oh, thank you. My very good cat friend. Like, when you start fighting the really big enemies, and the flying especially, uh... Oh, what's the one in the one place? I know it starts with leg. Because <laughs> everybody called it leggy. Leggyana, maybe? I fought so many of those fucking things. Because it dropped a specific gem, because, like, once you get higher level, you augment your yeah. armor and weapons with these gems, and, like, it dropped a specific gem that I was trying to get for a very long time. What's that, uh... What's that big bat guy? Oh, Palum... Palumo? Palumo? It's like a big white bat. Yeah, I just can't remember exactly how its name goes. I probably don't need to be drinking Mega Potions right this second. Mega potion. I love this guy's hair. He looks like uh, what's that one wrestler? Um, I keep hitting the legs. Ran away again. Triple H? No, not Triple H. He's an older wrestler. He died recently. Oh, no, go away. Or I say recently, I guess it was probably a few years ago, but... Well, let me sharpen weapon. The Ultimate Warrior. Oh, yeah. He looks like the Ultimate yeah, Warrior. Yeah, he does. does it, didn't he die? Oh, God, I said recently he died in 2014. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I mean... Time is an illusion. I, I don't know. I need to get the head extract. <laughs> what does that give you? I think that's the attack boost. I know it's the red. I just can't remember what exactly all the extracts are. I just, you know, know that they exist.
He's tired now. <laughs> Little guy's all tuckered out. Said I love the Palicos. I wish there was a Stardew Valley style game where all the characters were Palicos. Yeah, that would be very cute. Says there is one in Japan. Where are you going, big dude? <sighs> yes. No, that's orange shit. Let's just hit it with some poison. Oh god, yeah. It's called Monster Hunter Diary Poka Poka Eru Village. Of course it is. Uh, Monster Hunter Diary Warm Feline Village. Ooh. <laughs> it's a Japan only game for the PSP. Oh god, it looks so fucking cute. Oh, it is very cute. How old is that? Well, it's PSP. It's, uh... 2010. Came out in 2010 for PSP, and then 2015 it got a port to the 3DS. But it's all Japan only. Fuck, what are those little pigs called? They're on the cover of this, too. I remember that... The build I had, Fighting Cowboy, I think is the YouTube dude whose tutorials I watch. I remember the build I had had these bonuses that made you sharpen your weapon like super fucking fast. Yeah. Poogies. Poogies. The pigs are called poogies. You can dress them in little clothes. Can you cut this guy's tail? Um, I don't think that's a mechanic in this game. Are you sure? Shit. I'm pretty sure. I could have sworn it was. Maybe I'm, I'm probably wrong. Can you cut tails in uh, Dragon's Dogma? Aside from the Saurians? I don't think so. Uh, I guess Maybe I'm, I'm wrong. I don't really remember it being a thing. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I mean, I know I'm on the wrong side. I'm supposed to be attacking this soft, defenseless underbelly. I know you can do it in Dragon's- or no, in uh, Dark Souls, of course. Oh, motherfuck. Okay, yes, let me- I need to carve. Shit, where the fuck is it? Yeah, yeah, you can cut tails in this game. Okay. But it's not, like, for a specific... Well, I... Yeah, I guess you're right, because there's a lot of drops that are specific to what you bring. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. It also, like, just... It makes it so that they can't do certain attacks yeah, when you hurt yeah, yeah, certain yeah. parts. Because, like, the, this, this dude said, you know, you can, but not... Probably not with that monster. But I, I thought I remembered that, because, like... I remember, I, my memory is very bad, but I remember there was a particular monster that you were fighting that did massive tail damage at one point. I 
I just really also love the gigantic, ridiculous weapons in this game. Yeah, like, the weapon designs are, are, are like, a, you know, a hallmark of the, the franchise. Oh, fuck. Puke, puke, I forgot. Yeah. And the monster designs. Like, that dude looks fucking awesome. Oh, his tongue is so weird, though. Mugatoru. Very specific fetish. Marik Derulana. Is that doo doo? What? That. No. <laughs> you told me there was doo doo. Where's the doo doo? I haven't found any yet. We haven't gotten to the shit monsters yet. The monsters that shit. <laughs> I forgot what the thing is, because you can get, like, you have slinger ammo, mm -hmm. and, like, you have all this stuff that, uh... Like, does different stuff. Like, there's some that just does damage, there's some that, like, illuminate a place and startle enemies, and then you have dung, which you throw to scare things off. Because, like, once you get to a certain part, there's this enemy called, uh... Basil Goose, I think, that'll just show up no matter what you're fighting in one area. And it's there, and you have to throw shit at it to make it go away <laughs> so you're not fighting two monsters at once. That's fucking But there's awesome. also something you can throw to make flying enemies fall. So it's like they try to get away, so you just throw it and knock them down and beat the shit out of them, of them yeah, some more. Yeah. Like, it may be another Thunder one, like a Thunder pod or some shit, I can't remember. Because it was one of those that I always meant to utilize and then never did. <laughs> This is also one of those games where you feel like you're in the tutorial for fucking ever. <laughs> it's like eight hours in the tutorial before you get to play. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this one has like the least amount of time like that because I I can definitely tell this is a much easier, more accessible, more, you know, yeah. casual version. Like I remember when I played on PSP it was pretty grind heavy. Like you would go out and just you know, hunt monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. For lack of a better term. Um, which is cool. I mean, I like grindy games. Oh, yeah. And, like, I... Um, what was I trying to say? Like, I know there's a lot of quality of life tweaks in this, because I've listened to other people who played older ones talk about, you know, like, you can run by items and pick them up, and you can move while you're drinking potions, and just stuff like that, that you know, makes it a lot more playable for new people. Yeah, which... I feel like the the franchise was pretty dense in terms of getting into it, so that's probably good. Mm. Toad time. Oh, you caught that guy? Mm hmm. That, that's, oh, that's the paratoad you caught, yeah. Yeah. No, it's only one toad. Funny. <laughs> I 
They said the thing that killed the interest in this game for them was trying to collect the giant and miniature crowns. You can spend dozens of hours grinding and never get one. What is that? Do you remember that? I never got that far. Like, I got to the three Elder Dragons before the final boss, whose name I don't even remember because I never got to fight him. Like, I could beat Valhazak. Valhazak was fucking cool. I have a little plush of Valhazak. I could not beat Teostra, I never stood a fucking chance against Teostra, and then Kushala Dora, I would always almost beat and then run out of time. Yeah. So I never really got to a l any post-game shit. God of War. Man, I haven't played a God of War game since the first one. I think that was the only one I ever actually played. Did you actually play it, or did we just watch David play it? Um, I played it. Oh, okay, because I remember watching David play it yeah, for several I, hours one day. Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't play, like, a ton of it, but I, I did play it. But then after that, yeah, like, I just watched David play through two or three of them. That last one did look really nice there. So why was I supposed to come talk to you? Oh, provisions manager, not stockpile, whatever. Okay, yeah, this is how this works. Yeah, I should definitely check out that, that God of War. I've, I've been thinking about, like, trying to play more, um... I guess, bigger titles like that. Mm -hmm. Because, like... I don't know. Like, I just never put time into video games, so I never touch stuff like that. Wait. But, like, I would like to play that God of War. I would like to try out an Assassin's Creed, maybe. And like I said, I really would like to stream all of the Arkham games, because I love the first Arkham Asylum game, but I haven't played any of the others. And you know I love my boy Bruce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can break the Jagras's head. <laughs> Shit, I 
wasn't done looking at that. Morning. Revulture. I couldn't remember what those things were called. Second Arkham was really good. Origins was kind of terrible. Yeah, I've heard Origins is not that great. Aren't there four games? There's Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, and Arkham um, City. Maybe Arkham City and then Arkham Knight. I can't remember the way they came out, but then Origins is sort of like... I know not, I know not a lot of people like it. But I haven't played one. I haven't played one since the first one came out, and I I loved it. But I know um, I want to say City and and Night are sort of open world. Man, I remember drawing fan art huh? when one of the Arkham games. I guess the first or second one. Batman fan art. It was Aquaman. Cause like I remember. <laughs> do you remember it now? I, I'm not recalling. Cause you drawing there was Aquaman. like. I, it may have been the second one, but, like, uh, there's, like, that prop, and it's, like, a Joker mannequin holding a TV, and the Joker talks through the TV. Yeah, yeah. So I drew a fan art of Aquaman like that, so it's, like, Aquaman's body with a TV and Aquaman's face, because it was a reference to Brave and the Bold. Yeah, Because yeah. he used to have this running gag where he's like, Batman, did I ever tell you about the time I whatever, whatever, whatever? I call it the time I whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever. <laughs> I vaguely remember you drawing that now. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I just have hardcore love for Batman, and... I would very much like to play some bigger Batman open world style games. Oh. This is what I should have been looking at. I should see if I can make... Oh my fucking god. <laughs> All of this shit. I love that you can preview everything in this game. I think that's so fucking nice. Oh yeah, I like being able to preview armor. You can mix and match armor, right? Oh yeah. Which is, you know, usually what you're encouraged to do, because like, I for real have it written down somewhere. Like the, the build? The build. Yeah, yeah. Because it's before. like, you know, it's... It's just a bunch of different shit, because there's some item you get that a lot of people were utilizing. It was like an eye patch mm -hmm. that gave you some bonus. I can't remember. Speed eating. Stun power. That, that's gonna obviously. The barbecue master. Oh, I forgot you can cook in this game. Let's 
take all these previews off. I really want the Puke Puke armor because I feel like the male version is very cool. Like, the female version is okay too, but I like the male version of the outfit better. I may make this. Oh, I forgot it costs money to make shit. I may not have enough money to make much of anything. You kind of look like you're in Cradle of Filth. Why would you say that? <laughs> I'm too tall. Yeah. Well. <laughs> just just kind of greasy, you know? fight any small insect monsters for a while. I feel like the only ones I remember are the Rotten Veil. Let's fuck it, let's just get this. This is all gonna be outdated in like two more fights, so... Why would I need to forge that? I already have it. Oh wait, can I make some new shit for my little buddy? <clears throat> oh, he gets a little gun! Hell yeah, get him a little gun! <clears throat> it's actually a fairly big gun. <laughs> oh, that's rad as fuck. Oh, that's rad as fuck. Get him that stuff. This stuff, the Jagger uh, stuff? Uh, yeah. Now he looks like the ultimate warrior. I love it. That was... Yeah, everything else is exiting for a mission.
It's like, this mission I'm about to go on is not a, you know, kill this monster one. It's... It's literally to set up a camp. Yeah. So you'll have other places you can deploy to to be closer to certain monsters later on. So, like, you are supposed to go out and find that area so you can start the camp there. Head. <laughs> Clamped my headphones on my head too hard. <laughs> oh, they said they love the chef. Oh, I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, the chef is so so nice. The palicos are just fucking rad. See, Sora Su Pirado, Little Netsui Suinga. Nigeta Suri Tururi. Ramaha, Yuda, Ramo Niru Poki, Sumishiho. Dude, the PlayStation is so loud. Like, it's not being picked up on the mic. Like, I have the, the noise suppression and the noise gate and everything set up right. Uh huh. But, like, I can just hear it so clearly with my headphones on. <laughs> I'm just laughing at his big fucking wig <laughs> that he's got on. Like, for real, that's so funny. It looks like he's wearing some kind of, like, hair metal Halloween costume. Oh, there's a thing up there. Oh. Oh, I don't... Piss. Gotta track that piss. Shut up, I'm catching ants. Ooh, big fat ants. Big fucking fish. Wait, where's the herb? Oh, I got too many herbs.
Okay. Imegari Tarila, Lo Ole Guda, Mira Tumi. I really don't care, Jagresses. Should have tried to catch those bats. Yire Ari Dagio, Yire Niskinia, Arani. Weeks. Why don't I have a big cowboy hat? Can you get a cowboy hat? I don't. What an outrageous hat. <laughs> we have the same hair. <laughs> oh, he looks like that dude from, uh. It's like Goth Banfields and the Nephilim. I don't remember how to fish. Skid marks. Damn, that's a big fucking fish. See, ah, Is Carl McCoy the guy from Fields of the FOM? Hell yeah. Man, he's in that one movie. Uh, Hardware? Remember that? Yeah, vaguely. It's been a while since we watched it. I feel like he might be in a couple of films. Oh, is that where I'm supposed to be going? Toho, Luimetri. No, that's where that dude's going. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? There's oh, an Richard. engine ant over there. I don't want to be there. Richard Stanley. Yeah, we need to rewatch um, Hardware and Dust Devil from Richard Stanley. Oh yeah, Dust Devil definitely, because mm -hmm. we watched it like ages ago. Yeah. Because, you know, he did... Color out of space that we watched. Oh, watched I didn't here. realize that. Yeah. I think he is working on more Lovecraft films. He also did um, a segment in Theater of the Bazaar. The, you remember that movie? with like It was like an anthology. Is that Udo Kier? Yeah, yeah, it was hosted by Udo Kier. Uh, he did a segment called The Mother of Toads. Oh, no. I just remember Udo Kier on that stage is about all I remember. Yeah, I don't remember a lot from that film. Maybe 
damn it. Oh, they said there's a die you can earn in this game that makes your armor change color like it has a rainbow prism effect. Oh, neat. That sounds fucking cool. You like that effect on stuff? Yeah, sometimes. I also do just like being goth. <laughs> Well, I don't want to go play this Kestodon, but I need to go investigate some shit down here. I, mean, I was thinking about playing Skyrim again the other day. <laughs> like a fucking disease. Yeah, like once a month I feel the, the need to play it even though I don't really want to. Please move, please move. Damn it, I ran right the fuck into that, too. Why are you still chasing me? <laughs> so don't get sucked back into Skyrim, stay <laughs> strong. I gotta eat this grub. I gotta eat this grub. Eat this grub. Eat this grub. Uh, I went and, uh, speaking of Skyrim, I was looking at, um... Shattering. Yeah, I was looking at my other, like my my normal YouTube account that I, you know, watch and subscribe to stuff on. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, it still has all of the uh, Skyrim streams I did years ago. Damn. Like, I uh, I don't I don't remember streaming that much of the game. Uh huh. But there were like. I think I, I think I added it up. There were like almost twenty hours worth of streams. Well, <laughs> but like I don't even remember accomplishing anything. I think I did a bunch of the Mages Guild, and like nobody ever watched it. Like I was always oh. streaming to like no one. Yeah, but I was just sort. Of I remember you getting like into this one area, and it was like. You were in a, like, a cave that had some water in it, and you were fighting a Karish. Like, there was a Reaper, yeah. there was a, one of those bigger, yeah. but still crawling ones. Because it was you and Lydia, and you kept rezzing like a Draugr or yeah, something. Yeah, because, like, I, it, probably not a Draugr, um, I think, I think, I remember that, because I think what you're thinking of is, uh... I did this mission, I brought Lydia with me, like, I went under a lighthouse. Like, there's a, there's a mission where you, um, go under a lighthouse and, like, uh, the older, I think it's, like, an old couple that runs the lighthouse have been killed by the Falmer that live under it because it's connected to Blackreach, I think, mm -hmm. or something like that. But it was a mission that I had never done on any previous file on Skyrim, and it was pretty cool. But I remember spending a lot of time there, yeah. Like, I just remember it was one of those situations where it's like, you can beat it, but, like, you just kept getting bad RNG or something. Like, you just kept getting hit when you could have avoided it, so you just have kept having to load and save yeah. and load and save. And then that YouTube account also has a full playthrough of, um... Oh, Firewatch. Firewatch, yeah. yeah. Which I, I don't know, like... 
I could download that again. I could re-download those videos and upload them to this YouTube channel. But, I don't know, I kind of would like to just place Firewatch again. Because I, I did enjoy it. Didn't that studio do another game? Probably. I feel like they did. I don't know if it ever came out. I'm going to Google that right now. You never played Firewatch, did you? No. Yeah, yeah. Um, I liked Firewatch a lot. Uh, it's... I think a lot of people were, you know, it's it's like a really heavy, like story heavy game, um, but it has a pretty cool atmosphere, and I thought the story was very good. I think a lot of people were let down by the way it ends, but I was not. Um, I thought it was pretty decent. See, like I'm not all like I love a, a game with a good story. But a lot of the time when I play a game, I'm wanting to, like, explore and, and just sort of immerse myself in a world rather than play through a story. But Firewatch, I knew, was on the shorter side. So I, I just really got into it because I knew it wasn't going to be, like, something where I would lose interest and abandon it, which is something I do with a lot of games. Um, so, yeah, I played through it in, like, I think five sessions... Uh, and it was really fun. I'll probably, I'll probably do that one, one week. Um, because it, it won't take very long to play through. And in fact, I could probably play through it in a couple of nights. If I did some long streams. But yeah, um. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's by a publisher or a developer called Camp Santo. Oh, Thunderbugs. And I they are still in development on a game called In the Valley of Gods, which I know is, um, you know, another game in the style of Firewatch. Uh, but oh. it's set in, I, I think you're like an archaeologist in Egypt. Um during the golden age of archaeology or whatever it's referred to as. So, you know, different setting with similar gameplay mechanics. Fucking these things. <laughs> oh yeah, they have like these dodo beaks. Shitty, you just had a shi. Kushimura. Ah. ネドアザウ。当時ガネルファ、シュハクメムート。どうどう、ジムロキラ。ふとけきらて。What the fuck did they get over there?
The only problem is, like, you can activate shit when you're t walking, but, like, you run right past it before the prompt shows up at times. Yeah. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we'll see you on, uh, Monday, I guess. Are you gonna play Dragon's Log on Monday? Uh, yeah, I mean, if this setup works, then I can still play. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, we'll see you Monday. Thanks for hanging out again. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for the pawn again. <laughs> Glaive for life. <laughs> I think I totally missed. Night. Oh, don't do that. Oh yeah, they get these rocks and they fucking bash ya. They bash ya. That's not what I wanted to do that. <sighs> like, you have to hit it in the arm to get it to drop this rock. But I forgot how exactly I do that. How soon will we leave the area? <laughs> you can put the cookie down. Oh, he put the cookie down. really fast it's annoying yeah i remember uh i remember you having a lot of trouble with this guy like to begin played. with yeah like yeah i mean i know it's it's not like a high level enemy or anything but That's what it is. You hit the monster with that pheromone or some shit, mm -hmm. and it will attack that spot of an enemy. So, like, I it, when you see that yellow sap sort of shit on a monster, I've like what will attack it? The my my bug. The sorry, bug? Yeah, yeah, my bug. Okay. My bug. My bug. My lovely lady bug. I don't know why you can't get a ladybug. That would be adorable.
Oh, I forgot you can mount these bitches. God, I forgot about that. Because that's what the glaive is really important for. I definitely need to get out of here now. What was it? An Anjanath and a uh, Jagras fighting. Oh yeah, they fight each other, don't they? <laughs> Fuck me running. <laughs> Yeah, you should probably egress from that situation. Oh man, your run animation is so, so good. This is dead end, Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fucking thing. Okay, are you gonna tell me how to get to it, Scout Flies? What does that number on it mean? Like you said, plus 20? Uh, I don't have any idea. Okay. Like, is that, like, the scent or something? Maybe. Oh, I need those doodles. You need those doodles? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I like the, the cave drawings. <laughs> Come on. Of course. 
You are not allowed to be airborne. I am the only one who gets to be airborne. I have got to stop missing. Here we go. Why? No, don't do that. That's right. I have to do this if I actually want to make a difference. Because, like, when you're mounted, you can only attack with your hunter's knife. But a blade, like a glaive user, can use their glaive. If you keep moving back and forth along the enemy. Right, because you're not, like, on it. You're just, like, sort of jumping around above it. <laughs> interest in fighting you guys. I also don't remember how to get back to where um, the mission is. And these motherfuckers have to fuck off before it'll tell me. I mean, there's dung some- there's shit. There's some shit for yes, you. Yes! Finally some shit. What were you saying? I said you're just trying to get back to the city, right? No, I've got to get back to where the camp was so we can actually set up the camp. There was that huge vine wall the dude was standing by. Was it this here? It was here, but he's not here anymore. Oh, it does say return to Astera, my bad. I remember there are those special fights you can do too, because like it's gonna, it's like an arena. I can't yeah, remember what yeah. it's called, because I used to always do this one with a giant Odegaron and two small Odegarons, because they were like super tiny. Because, like, can't you do special traps in the arena and stuff? Yeah, I think there are some environmental things you can use. Tadara Maira Dem Makuha 
I'm probably about to quit. We've been streaming for three hours. Yeah. I mean, it takes a while to get the games that I want to play started, so... Oh yeah, like, they're definitely, you know, heavy on the tutorial stuff and pretty grindy. Yuri-nani? So I think I'm gonna go around town and get any of these uh, little exclamation points. I don't know what you would call those, because sometimes they give you quests and sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's just somebody talking to you. I'm gonna get those and then I'm probably gonna stop. Okay, I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to navigate a window. Alright, um, I don't know when I'll play this again. I just really wanted to play it. And yeah, I mean, we, you, could, uh, you could alternate some nights with Dragon's Dogma, or I don't know. Maybe, but like, Devin was saying he wanted to play. So if they play, I might see if I can join in. <laughs> Yeah, that'd probably be good, and that'd be a different experience from what you've played anyway, because you've never played with other folks. No. Um. Oh, I guess it saves if you go to quit game. I'll have to remember that. Alright. Oh, I think Amanda is still here. Somebody else might be here, too. I don't know. But thanks for hanging out, whoever is there. Bye-bye. Goodbye.